I decided to make a video about a game I played recently. But unlike most reviews, I am going to focus on the art direction and analyze the creator's design decisions. Arise, a simple story, is a gorgeous game with stunning environments, characters, lighting and innovative game mechanics. Let's take a closer look at what makes this game special and how to utilize the creator's techniques in your own designs and illustrations. As an illustrator or graphic designer, you can learn a lot from an artistic game like this, especially because this game doesn't have any narrative, so no spoken words used in it at all. It really focuses on the visuals, and the visuals are gorgeous. Now, the company Piccolo Studio, which is based in Spain, Barcelona, their background is in advertisement, and this is their first game. Before that, they used to create ads for big companies like Nike and Coca-Cola, but they always wanted to create experiences, and that's why they changed and moved into creating games and they poured all their passion and love for computer games into their first game Arise in which they are focusing on emotions. So the whole game is following the story of an old man who is looking back at his life and each level is a story or a part of his life that he is looking back and trying to remember what happened. The coolest and most innovative feature in the game is that you can forward time or rewind the time while you are playing. So instead of controlling the camera, one of the sticks on the controller is for controlling time. Since this is happening throughout the game, the game designers really paid attention to making a clear contrast between the two extremes. So in this case, we have a very warm tone for one end of the spectrum, and then we have this much cooler palette. Now coming back to this example, since I have a mask, I can just paint over this and reveal the two extremes. So we can see it clearly that certain details like here, the flowers would disappear and they would be replaced by snow. Once again, if we go further up here, as I mentioned, those warm tones will be replaced by much cooler tones. Now, these are complementary colors, by the way. So if you move from the warm side of the color wheel and you go all the way to the opposite side, then you would end up having these colors. So that's again, just really helps to define uh, or establish this contrast between the two time scales. Since we are on the screenshot, I'm going to also talk a little bit about atmospheric perspective. And this is something you can use in illustration or animation. This basically means that whatever is further in the background will need to feel like it's far away. And to be able to establish that, you need to use things like this haze that we can see here in the background. So you get that volumetric light that changes the colors of objects and the further away you get in the distance, the more desaturated they get and also the more they blend into the colors coming from the sky. In this case, that is the setting sun. So we can clearly see that from the foreground as we move into the midground and then in the background, this atmospheric perspective is really well established, both in the warmer tones, but also in the cooler tones. We can see the same thing being used here. Here's another amazing example of once again, the atmospheric perspective. So we can see these details here in the background are the focal point of the image. And even though they are really far away, we can still see them, but really that perspective or the atmospheric perspective helps to establish the distance. And since that is a detail that shows where you are getting in the game, it's like a canyon that you keep going through in this level, that is establishing the challenging journey that you have to go through. So if this was a painting or illustration, even though it's a still from the game itself, it would be a brilliant composition because our main character is here in the foreground looking towards that focal point, which we talked about already is in the background. But then we also have other leading lines like the trees pointing towards that detail. So not all of them are pointing in that direction, but again, we have all these other lines leading towards this central part here. And on this example, we can see it even better how the colors change. So while the tree here in the foreground has more of its local colors, 
as we move further in the back we see more of that atmospheric light or how the colors desaturate and blend into the environment. This is also very important as an artist you need to learn to use this so as an example if I just select this color here from the tree let's just pick this color and I start painting with it in the background maybe just make my brush slightly smaller you can see how out of space that feels there it feels like this is definitely further in the foreground while if I pick this color here and start painting with it even that feels too bright and intense for that detail in the back so if I paint here once again this probably works because it's next to the other detail but you can see that these very subtle differences in brightness and saturation makes a huge difference in the actual perception of depth and distance now let's take a closer look at the main protagonist the old man one of the interesting aspects of the design is that we don't have any eyes or lips so it is quite hard to express any emotions instead of using the usual expressions the designers use more the body language and the very subtle changes in movement and since this is a very stoic character it moves slowly and any expression would be an indication of an emotion the simplicity of the design is outstanding but less is more in most of the cases in design and art so we already talked about how simple the features are on the face but also notice that there are no fingers so they are all hidden under the gloves and apart from the face hands are also very expressive so in art we use it a lot to express the feelings or emotions of a character now both of these details are practically non-existent in this game instead we have this very minimal design almost like clay but all the details are carefully selected so we can see the contrast between the different shapes so once again to create contrast we have round shape here on the shoulders but then it is followed by these very angular sharp shapes at the bottom so you can see how those two combined create a pleasing and balanced design and this is also a very common mistake that when you're starting to draw characters or environments you might end up using very similar shapes or lines so maybe only curved lines and then or maybe only angular sharp lines it's about the combination of them and although you can emphasize the round shapes like in this game there's a lot of round shapes but there's always something to balance it out so here in this design we already saw that just as an example on that cape or the fur that he's wearing but if we go into another environment like in this example from another level we have this nice curving shape going up here but then we have these very sharp edges around this detail here now also notice that this is a focal point and there is a reason for it because this is a very cold environment and for you to be able to survive you have to get close to fire as soon as possible or as quickly as you can and those little stones always have candles in them so they warm you up if you get close to them now the way that is achieved from a visual point of view is by using the contrast so having a bright detail in a fairly low lit environment this is also called value dynamics so there is a very good dynamic in this composition where the brightest details are reserved for the most important detail but even that is not completely white generally it is good to avoid using pure white or black in your composition because they can get too strong and overpower everything else but it is good to preserve the brightest or darkest details for these focal points in your composition now here's another beautiful scene from the game a very emotional one the separation without spoiling the story I'm not going to go into more detail than that but we can see that there's some characters here on the left side and some characters on the right side 
Now, just like in graphic design, negative space is something that you can utilize in your artwork, whether it's digital art or illustration or even animation. Having this huge empty space in this frame really emphasizes that sadness and emptiness or loneliness that we get when we get to this part of the story. So once again, without any narration, just simply by using visuals and creating these compositions, will be able to deliver the message and sometimes express complex emotions and feelings. This composition is very symmetrical, so we get a very nice symmetry here. But also, once again, the rule of thirds is utilized by having the two main characters more closer to the thirds in the composition. This might be even the golden ratio because it's a little bit further than the third. But there is also another interesting detail here in this composition, and that is the old man is the only character that is in full color, while all the other characters are just simply stones. Now this represents that they are memories, they are almost like stills as the old man is thinking back of his life. And it's cool that the main character, so this is the old man when he is younger, and the, the love of his life here on the right side, they are much more defined, while the other supporting characters are getting more and more simplified. So this one is almost looks like an actual rock while this one still has a little bit of human feature and the same thing here it's almost like a transition from a really nicely carved statue to something that is very simplified and almost becomes like part of nature these subtle details and hidden messages make this game really poetic now here's another very important lesson you can learn that you can apply in your illustration and artwork and that is the use of light or the clever way of using light. So in this composition we clearly have a very strong light source on the left side but generally this is a low lit environment. So that strong source of light is going to emit light in all direction and that is what's hitting these characters here on the edges. It's usually called rim light and what's good about it is that it creates a very dramatic cinematic look but also it helps to define the three-dimensional shapes. So once again we have good value dynamics where we have bright details next to dark details and this as i said define that three-dimensional form really well now there's another thing i wanted to mention about lighting in this example and that's the shadows so wherever there's cast shadows in a composition you should always keep in mind the environment so try to avoid again using black for shadows that's going to make your illustration look strange and quite amateur. If you start using or if you start understanding that shadows are usually made up of the colors in the environment, that is going to make it much more realistic and more interesting. So in this example as well, we can see how this bright pink detail in the foreground affects the shadows. So it's not just simply a darker version of that color, what we can see here in the shadows, but it's also affected by the surrounding colors, so the colors coming from the light source. Now, last but not least, I also wanted to mention the memories in the game. They help to define or describe a little bit more the backstory or what happened in the past of the old man. And these illustrations are really nice. Once again, they have the aesthetics of watercolor. I'm not sure whether this is originally digital or it was done on paper with traditional watercolor but if you like this aesthetic and you would like to recreate something like this I would recommend to use Adobe Fresco for it and if you would like to see me recreating an illustration like this let me know in the comment section below and I will be happy to show you how to do it. Also, if you want to spoil the story for yourself and you would like to see all of these memories or so all of the watercolor artwork, then you can find a link in the description below with all of these screenshots in the order that you would see them in the game. I had a lot of fun playing this game, but I had even more fun sharing my thoughts about it with you. Hopefully you found this video useful. And if you want to see me reviewing in a similar fashion other games, let me know which games you would like to see next in this series. <laughs> 
Thanks a lot for watching. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we release new videos. Click on the link on my right and start your membership today to get access to over 200 hours of training courses and personal mentoring by me and my team of creative professionals. Have fun learning guys and I will see you in the next one.